Well, friends, I'm behind the camera, and uh, we're just, look, we're in the dahlia patch. Yeah, we know, got to get a new sticker. But look at that beautiful dahlia. That purple, little purple tinge is there. Most of the dahlias over here on the uh, parking lot side of the sanctuary, most of them are uh, ready to get dug up and thrown away, but there are a few still there. My dahlia whisperers, my sister Sue in the Chicago area, my cousin Nancy in uh, Minnesota, they say I should wait until the first hard frost. So that's that's what we're doing here. Yeah, a little bad sticker thing. Hey, today's Tuesday, October 29th, and uh, this is our devotional for today. Christ Covenant Church. Look, right there. And we are inviting you to join us in worship. It's All Saints Sunday this Sunday. It's a hard day for a lot of people. It's a really wonderful day as well, where we remember those loved ones who have died in the faith. We take a special time to note those in our congregation and related to our congregation who have passed away this year since last All Saints. And then we also invite you to bring some kind of a picture or remembrance or memento of some loved one uh, of yours. And we'll have a table in the front of the sanctuary uh, to have those in a place of honor. And so we invite you, uh, and please be in prayer. It's a really hard day for a lot of people, but be in prayer for that day. Our Devo today, uh, look, I got this. It's actually two pictures kind of on one page. Look at there, there's that guy with a lion, and oh man, lions, lions, lions. So I hope you were able to see that picture. And here's the story behind that. I got this on the internet, of course. It says, no, this is not a hunting photo. Whew, I wouldn't have it if it was a hunting photo. Britain, Alex Laurenti, 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 lives on a game reserve in South Africa and spends his days giving lions foot massages. One day he discovered that every time a lion uh, had cream applied uh, to cure an infection on its paws, the lion would slacken and appear to smile. Since then he has massaged all the lions in the park on a daily basis. Thanks to the pampering, he created such a bond that just by seeing him arrive, the lions lie down, begin to stretch their legs and smile. With love and respect, closing line, with love and respect, all relationships are possible. Friends, here's what we're talking about today. With love and respect, all relationships are possible. If you watch TV, if you answer your phone, if you're on the internet, if you're listening to the radio, you might think that relationships between people of different political persuasions are not possible in our country right now. It's presidential election is a week from today and you know other elections as well, but primarily the presidential election. Friends, I'm telling you right now, whether you vote for Vice President Harris or whether you vote for President Trump, as Christians, we need to love one another and have respect for one another. The old King James Version of the Bible, I love this. It says, be ye reconciled one to another. Friends, that's our calling. In our congregation, we have people that, it's, it's a purple congregation. We have people that are going to vote this way. We have people that are going to vote this way. We have some people that are going to vote here, there, and everywhere. But we are uh, a congregation that is probably pretty purple when you talk about that color, that mix between red and blue. Friends, with love and respect, all relationships are possible. Our primary relationship is that with Christ. And what are we supposed to do when we have that relationship with Christ? Jesus says in John 13, love one another. This is how you're going to know, this is how others will know you are Christians. This is how others will know that you are my followers. We are primarily followers of Christ. We are not primarily Republicans or Democrats. We are followers of Christ. This is how we, people will know that we are followers of Christ, if we love one another. Jesus says this, love one another. And so friends, as wild and as cool as this picture of these lions is. Isn't that awesome? 
we look at that we go wow that's crazy that's almost impossible with love and respect all relationships are possible even those between people of differing political persuasion and friends please pray about this we we know that some people in a, a week or whenever it's eight days nine days some people are going to be really happy some people are going to be really sad but friends let us rejoice let us rejoice that we truly follow the king of kings the lord of lords the prince of peace jesus himself and let us love one another and may we be a reflection of that with everyone that they see us loving one another let's pray god may we love one another may we love one another may we love one another no matter if we are this political party that political party this persuasion or that persuasion people will know that we are christians by our love god uh a bunch of things have been happening in the last couple days uh that just running running wild about different some medical things we're praying for the peters family uh, Eileen Peters passed away, of course, Todd and Sharon and family here, we pray for them, and uh, Todd's brother Brooks and sister Michelle, we pray for all of them and their families in this time. Funeral is on Friday, we pray for that in advance. God, we pray for Norell uh, Weisenborn, who has some uh, cellulitis going on on her face. God, be with Norell and the doctors. Uh, there are so many other prayers that we can pray for. Uh, we lift them up to you. There are other people that have had minor medical procedures, have been in and out of the emergency room. Uh, just We just kept finding out these things over the past couple of days. God, be with everybody in these health situations. God, be with us. Help us to love one another. We love you. Help your love to flow through us to others. Have we invite your Holy Spirit in a really powerful way over the next week, week and a half, two weeks, three weeks, whatever, uh, that your Holy Spirit would be just shining through us and the ability to love one another. And uh, yeah, we, we pray for that. God, for this day, we pray for our upcoming service of all, on All Saints Sunday, we pray. We, for the, we give you thanks and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey friends, once again, really, we invite you to come to All Saints Sunday. Uh, it's a really meaningful service. We also will celebrate communion uh, this Sunday. Coming up next week, we also have a blood drive on uh, Wednesday. And uh, the Stewart Memorial Handbell Choir is leading worship over Peter Becker on Wednesday too. That's great. And then finally, don't forget this, the festive shop artisan and vendor fair we got a lot of these papers that you can take and give to friends neighbors uh family members post in your uh, wherever you live maybe uh that's coming up on saturday november 9th from 10 to 3 uh, p.m uh crafters vendors kids activities festive treats see you there we want you to come even if you're not going to buy anything we want you to come and fill up the fellowship hall we want people to see that we're a a, 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 a great church maybe people will have questions they're, maybe they're walking around saying hmm what's all about this church and the, you can say hey actually this is my church and it's a great place uh, we love to share and show the love of jesus to others at this place so come vendor uh, artisan and vendor fair festive shop saturday november 9th 10 to 3 p.m and we're also going to be having get uh, uh baked goods there's a sign up sheet so we do want you to bring baked goods maybe you want to try out a new christmas cookie a little bit early hey that would be great or whatever friends have a great day be blessed and be a blessing and dahlia's hanging there a little longer have a great day